Hey gang, say listen, it's Coach Hamilton here with the second part of the sales funnel formula. Um, in the first part, in the first video that I did just a couple days ago, um, we kind of laid it all out and just had an intro, you know, on a, you know, about what makes up a sales funnel, identify the target audience, advertising sources, opt-in page, the landing pages, um, communicating with them through email messages to get them to watch videos, webinars, conference calls, whatever it takes to get them to know, like, and trust you. And then eventually, you know, there's got to be some phone calls and there's some communication in there to get them to uh, 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 make the next step, which is to join you as a new teammate in whatever business you're working, okay? Well, today what I want to do is I want to talk specifically about identifying a target audience, okay? And so the thing you must do is you must ask yourself the, the most important question, and, and that is what is your end goal? Um, you know, if your end goal is to make a whole lot of money, um, build a residual income, build a huge team of teammates so that eventually someday you could literally you know take a month off and not have to work and and you can come back and the company's in, in your your organization is growing and uh, uh, when you know if, if you're looking to do something like that then obviously you need to direct all focus and all attention to that one specific thing and that is to make a lot of money okay build a huge organization and so with that being said let's take a look at like for example one of my businesses is Sante Worldwide they offer totally green products okay and what that means is that they're chemical free you know they're, they're, they're totally organic 100 percent certified by the FDA organically and so being totally green products I could target an audience of people that are like-minded in in the sense that they want to live chemical free they only want to put natural things in their body well there's a huge group of people out there in this world that are like that and so I could literally I could focus my attention on that and then I could produce uh, revenue through retail sales okay um, so if I was to set my advertising up as such I would set it up towards people that are searching for totally green products and gear everything towards that However, that's not what I want to do. Now, Asante also then offers the Power Pops, which is, you know, they have the Power Pop diet, which is famous out in Hollywood. Um, and that's kind of the, the flagship product, and that's what got Asante on the, on the map in the first place. So I could really target the weight loss industry as well, because we know that, you know, there's a lot of obese people in this world. And, and, and so, you know, the Power Pops is like eating candy on a stick is the motto. Yeah, to lose weight and so I could target that but that's not what I want to do because I don't want to get into retail sales the same thing with the facelift product I could go after the people that are you know getting to the age to where they're starting to get lines and wrinkles and they want to feel young again and look young again and and I could promote our facelift product the anti-aging product but again that's not what I want to do my goal is to get people that think like me when it comes to making a lot of money developing a residual income an income that I can walk away from someday okay and so with that then I need to find people that will be like-minded with me when it comes to the comp plan when it comes to the guaranteed income okay and so that's my angle that's my goal my goal is to is to to someday be able to walk away with the residual income I want to build a huge team of new teammates and then uh, uh, so so what I need to do then is I need to find a way to promote and to build a funnel that is geared towards people that think like that so that I can sort and sift through all the other people and finally get down to the people who want the same thing as me and that's to build a residual income um, and so so we're gonna focus on promoting the comp plan and the guaranteed income because we want people that want that same thing okay as a marketer, never fall in love with the company's products. I threw that in here because sometimes we get people that get so carried away with the products that they, that they you know, we got the best weight loss product in the world. The Power Pop Sucker is a great product, but I can't sit here and say that it's the, the best um, weight loss product in the world because that's an opinion. And, and, and the thing about that is, is about the time you say that, then another company is going to come out with another product that is is also going to claim to have the best product in the world when it comes to weight loss, etc. 
So I never focus really on the products. Yes, I, I, I'm glad Asani has great products and everything. I fall in love with like the comp plan and the marketing tools and that's the kind of stuff I fall in love with because I feel like if I'm earning a good income from my efforts with the comp plan and the marketing tools and stuff, then I can buy the best weight loss product in the world or whatever. Okay, so I don't I don't focus so much about the products, I focus more on on how to market and how to build the teammates and stuff to get to my end goal which is the residual income. Alright. Um, again, I talked about I want to make money, I want to build a huge team, I want the residual income. Uh, here's here's the big one. Since Isanta is an MLM company, and I want to build an MLM company, then I want to to build this MLM company with people that are already in the MLM industry. The industry statistics show that 95% of the people that get in an MLM company will fail to make any significant money so within the first 90 days they'll drop out of that company and they'll go to another company. Now they're not going to quit the industry, they're, gonna just, they're just going to jump ship, they're going to go from company to company until they find a place where they, they finally have the success that they're looking for. Some people never ever get that success. Okay but others it takes them two or three companies to find the right home for them okay so I want to chase after those types of people so that so that um, you know hopefully Asante can provide them the home that they're looking for hopefully you know I can build the relationship with them that will uh, uh, show them that we're like-minded and, 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 and that we want the same things and we want to work together to build something together to build a huge organization so I'm gonna go after people that are already in the MLM industry because I know that they think like me in the sense that they understand the residual income cons concept and uh, building a huge organization so that they can walk away from this um, business someday and still be generating an income, leverage of other people, okay? So that's what we want to do. We want to go after the MLM people. And um, once we get to the next video then, I, I will start talking about how we go after those people, how we find those people, and, and where we find those people and then how we get our messages to those people but uh, I, with this video part two I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about identifying the target audience and so hopefully now you understand that you know whatever it is you're trying to get as an end goal that's where we gotta start we gotta start with being able to identify your, your end goal and then we go back to the beginning and we start then identifying the people that we want to contact that we think might be looking for the same things that we're looking for okay so with that that's part two of the sales funnel the next part will be on advertising alright with that you have a super terrific day